welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. Now, here's why I say the podcast. I usually actually have a name for my podcast, but notice if you scroll through and you take a look at the other episodes that the episodes have different names because I have yet to, this is really embarrassing a little bit, but I have yet to come up with the right name. Now, all these podcasts have names. I mean, I could think of a billion podcasts. I could podcast on the left. Joe Rogan Experience. Now, oh, shit. <laughs> now, the Joe Rogan Experience, funny enough, is what I'm going to get into today. That's what I'm going to discuss. But all these names have such catchy titles where someone is going to want to search them up and be most interested in the person who is performing the podcast episode. Now, while I believe that this podcast episode has what it takes for you listeners to be involved and indulge in what I'm talking about and who I bring on my show, I also still can't quite figure out what the ideal name is going to be, what suits my personality and who I am. But we will figure it out. If you have any suggestions, hit me up. But I'm going to be figuring it out over time. I'm sure it'll come by summer. (laughs) But for now, I did want to get into a topic that is based around one man and one man only. And his name is Joe Rogan. Now, you might be wondering, why are you speaking about Joe Rogan? I was listening to Joe Rogan this morning And I was watching a couple different clips from his podcast, but it wasn't just one podcast episode. What Joe Rogan does is he speaks to a variety of different hosts or guests that come on his show. And these are more based on older interviews because he signed a multi-million dollar deal with Spotify. So now he's strictly on that platform. But when he was on YouTube, he originally got famous off Posting the full interview, but he would take the beef or the most important parts of the episodes that he knew that people such as you and I would find interesting. And he would post like 10, 12, I don't know why I noticed that that would be specifically more towards the 12 minute duration. But hey, and maybe Joe Rogan is just fucking around with you, but it, it would always be the beef of the episode. It's something that you would want to hear about more than what they're talking about within the hour instead, you know, because people want to get to the point. You want to figure out how you can relate to it. So I was watching these episodes on YouTube and I started analyzing the behavior of Joe Rogan. And it's so interesting because I feel like his podcast is based around a couple of different things. This podcast is based around how to succeed, how to be a better you. And in a sense, the third thing I notice is how to get drive and motivation off almost his own lifestyle, because of course he is the host. So he's the one who's able to persuade you into different things. You might not feel like you're being persuaded, but psychologically, his ideas and his values that he goes by in his everyday life, he is more of an impactful character than most of us, right? He's done so many things. He's been on Fear Factor. He has a UFC host. He has value overall to the public. So what happens when you have value to the public like that is you will be more influenced. And I noticed that While one episode, Joe Rogan will have a host on and they talk about the benefits of mental health, um, how you can push yourself to be better with weight loss. You can push yourself to be better with eating healthy and all these great things. But then you'll also notice if you watch other episodes that he's very strict on a topic. Now, Joe Rogan likes to incorporate marijuana in his episode or weed if we want to get chill about it. So you can see the difference. There's almost three different behaviors that Joe Rogan puts out there that people don't actually delve into. There's Joe Rogan high. There's Joe Rogan motivated and wants to motivate you. And there's Joe Rogan who just believes that you're a bitch and you could do better. 
And if you are not a bitch, then you're on his level and he'll relate to you. So I think that that third aspect where Joe Rogan feels like you're a bitch if you don't do the things on his level, which I do want to mention, not everything on his level is godly and superhuman. And that's why I think a lot of people give him this bad rep. They say, oh, you know, he's sexist. He's against women. He is just a complete asshole because what he's talking about, I feel like is harder than he's saying it is. You know, whatever the situation might be, Joe Rogan takes it to a new level. And his ultimate goal is to have your mind baffled, to scramble your thoughts. So that is just the works of a genius, in my opinion. Now, I do also see the asshole side of him that can affect people. However, it's really easy to affect someone mentally when in these day and ages that it just the sensitivity level is absurd. So, you know, I just want to establish, I think that Joe Rogan is just trying to open the envelope to what you feel comfortable. He, he's trying to pretty much socially work you out of your comfort zone. So if you watch his videos, or even if you don't, because you've had enough of what he has to say, and you want to take a stand, and you just say, I completely don't agree with what he's saying, that's fine. And he doesn't care. <laughs> Let me just establish, he doesn't care if you don't watch his videos, because he's got so many other people. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that was intense. With his values and his core beliefs, that it's just irrelevant if you feel that you don't like him. But if you do, that's where I think the good side of Joe Rogan comes in, and he can be of value to how you want to live your life. And I think that one of the things that has gotten Joe Rogan so famous and to where he is today is while he is so expressive over his opinions and how he feels about life and how it should be he also has found a way he, he's so expressive but he knows that the most important part about being expresses expressive is that you also have to give it back meaning you have to listen and when you're expressive that could overpower the concept of people may say well he's not listening he does listen and this is what makes him so big this is not what made him big on Fear Factor. This is not what made him big on UFC. But he has grown his podcast off the fact that while he has such strong ideas and beliefs of how something should work, he's always, always, always willing to listen to someone who is sure of their idea. So you have to be, Joe Rogan is only going to associate and listen to someone who is just as motivated or confident as he is, which once again, this can change and alter his behaviors and how his podcast goes. So what I've noticed is for myself, I, there's so many different levels of things in his podcast that I hope to take off of him and I hope to incorporate into my podcast that makes it just as good, but with a little spin and a little twist of, should I say, genuine, genuinity, genuinity, is that a word? The point is, I think that my personality is a little more genuine than Joe Rogan. Don't take this wrong. If Joe Rogan ever hears this, I'm so sorry. But no, Joe Rogan has this almost cockiness and ego about him that can be a turnoff. For me, I like relating to people no matter what, no matter what situation you're in. And with Joe Rogan's most recent podcast that I listened to, the one thing that spurred me and pushed me to make this episode is that he he said that anyone who's talking about weight loss and maintaining a diet. So anyone that doesn't maintain a steady diet and decides to eat a couple burgers on a weekend, a couple burgers is a lot, but people who decide to eat that extra helping are bitches. He, he literally stated that. So this is what I'm saying. Joe Rogan, I don't believe is an asshole like this, but he will get so opinionated sometimes in his episodes based on who he brings on or how he's feeling at the time. I disagree with that. I don't think everyone is a bitch for not being able to keep their diet. It's difficult to do so, but you do have to get in a habitual state 
where you can remain consistent. So his guess, you'll notice, they just kind of went along with what they're what he's saying. You know, he's like, they're a bitch. They're a bitch. So it's almost like that guy who has gotten all the girls in high school and he's with dudes who are looking to get with girls that he's getting with on his level. And they're just like, okay, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, they're afraid to disagree. The point is that Joe Rogan makes it known that he's in charge of his own podcast. And that's genuinely important. You have to own what you're good at. Apologies. You have to own what you're good at and know that it's something that is right. Because if it is right for you, then it's a right part of your life and it's going to make you happy. And Joe Rogan has found what makes him happy. So even though a lot of people hate, he does what makes him happy and he's not going to stop. So if you figure out what makes you happy, do it. Just do what makes you happy. And what you got to do is you got to stop thinking about what people are believing that you are. If people don't actually agree with what you're saying, it's okay. Listen to them. And if you still disagree with them, state that you disagree, but with respect. <laughs> and then keep going with what makes you happy and people are going to flock to you. All right. That's my lesson and my discussion about Joe Rogan and how I feel about him lately as I listen to his podcast. And I, take, take a look. If you've never listened to Joe Rogan, check him out on YouTube or listen to him on Spotify. He always has some good guests and he always has something interesting to say, just like I try to do on my podcast. And thank you so much for listening to my podcast and being interested in what I have to say because I think I could bring a lot of value to the podcast community and for my listeners. So... Once again, don't have a name yet, <laughs> but it's coming out soon, and I really do love you all, and I look forward to speaking to you on the next episode. Peace out, everyone.